Hey guys, so I'm on break at work, um, so I have a couple minutes to post this video that I've been meaning to post for a while now. Um, my last video was about all the other crazy dreams that I was getting. Um, forgive me, I suck at talking on camera, I have anxiety and I jumble my words around, so bear with me. So, God gave me another dream about maybe a month and a half ago. Um, I was at my mom's house, and there was a really nasty tornado um, starting up. I don't know what's with all these tornado dreams, but there was a tornado starting, and... I was looking out the window and it was starting to come towards us. So I was telling my mom that there was a tornado outside, but she wasn't listening. And she had my son, she was holding my son in the kitchen. And the tornado was getting closer and closer. And I was telling her, hey, we gotta, we gotta find somewhere safer to hide. Which makes no sense because my mom's house is a mobile home. It was the house I grew up in, and there's no safe place in a mobile home. You're, you're pretty much screwed. But anyway, so she was in the kitchen with my son, and this tornado just started. Like, it was right about to touch the house. So I kept telling her, hey, hey, we gotta, we gotta find somewhere safer. And it was like a really skinny tornado and it was just like cutting through the house and it was like cutting through the kitchen and just, she still wouldn't listen I'm like mom move it's right there you know it's right behind you I'm screaming at was screaming at her saying that and uh she finally listened and ran over to me and it was in the kitchen, and then it just started coming towards us, and we had no choice but to run outside. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, so as soon as I stepped outside, it stopped. And I looked to the sky, and there was like this cloud shaped like an angel. And I was like, oh my gosh, mom, everything's going to be okay. That cloud looks like an angel. And she was like, what? And I looked again. And I seen Jesus and thousands of angels in the clouds. And... I was screaming, oh my God, it's Jesus. And I was just so happy and so excited. And there was, every, <clears throat> excuse me, everyone else was outside too in the, in the mobile home park. Because the storm stopped and I don't know, everyone just came outside to look at the damage or something. And But as soon, like I said, as soon as I came outside, it stopped and the sun was shining. It was the most beautiful day. And I looked in the clouds, I looked up in the sky, and there was Jesus and all the angels. And I was screaming, oh my God, it's Jesus, look, it's Jesus. And everyone looked at me and then looked at the sky and looked back at me, like, confused. And I'm like, it's Jesus. You don't see them? And then they shook their head like, no. I'm like, how do you not see them? They are right there, right there. And nothing. And then I woke up. And that was the last dream I had. I had a couple other weird ones, but I don't think they mean anything. I don't know. But that was my last and final dream where I was like, whoa, I've never had a dream like that in my life. I wasn't thinking about it. And no, I don't watch anything before bed. I pray before I go to bed, but that's it. And so I'm, I'm just, uh, 
it's been like eaten at me that I need to post this because I did promise God that I would post this. I would, I would share with the world whatever he shows me and I could be wrong, but I just, I don't think so. I really, I really think and my, my soul is telling me, like my gut is screaming, he is coming soon. Look at the world, you guys. Look how crazy it's getting, especially with them trying to force this vaccine. Oh, I better not say that, otherwise they're probably gonna delete the video. But come on, there's something weird going on. Like, and it's just, it's, it's not sitting right with me. It really isn't. And I can't, I can't take it anymore. But, you know, I'm, I'm worried for my son. Like, what, what future is he gonna have? Cause this, this world right now is scaring the crap out of me. And he's gonna be three this year. It's like, what? If the world's this bad now, it, it's. It doesn't seem like it's getting any better. You know? So, it, I'm glad this is going on because, I mean, I'm not glad, but it, with all this stuff going on and there's nowhere to run to, it's just bringing me closer to God. And I just feel God speaking to me more and more, more than I've ever heard him speak before. Like I said, I all these dreams and stuff. He, I, I had, he's given me dreams on and off throughout my whole lifetime, but none like this. I had dreams about COVID before it even came, like happened. But in my dream, I didn't understand. Like I just seen people panicking and running around and buying all the toilet paper from the store. Okay, they really, they weren't buying all the toilet paper from the store, but they were, they were like just grabbing supplies and freaking out. And I'm just standing there in my dream telling them, it's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Just calm down. And then I'd wake up. Well, that dream was just on repeat over and over and over again. And I didn't understand what the heck it was. And then COVID came. I was like, holy crap. This is what I've been dreaming about for the last couple of years. And I'd wake up and I'm like, oh, it's just a dream. And, uh, but as like, I'm like, in, in real life, I just had this bad gut feeling that something big was coming. And then I would, I would tell myself that I'm crazy, like, I, I'm, I'm thinking too much into things because like I said I have anxiety so but it was something more than that now I know it was it was this it doesn't it still doesn't this doesn't feel real <clears throat> it still doesn't feel real and like uh COVID and the vaccines and everything we're all so divided I'm not vaccinated like I just from the start I just had a horrible gut feeling about this and like half my family won't even see me won't see my mom or I because we're not vaccinated I don't know it just doesn't seem right COVID has divided everyone so much and they're just so selfish. They only care about themselves. I just don't get it. Because you're not promised tomorrow. So I, I wish people would see that. Anyway, sorry I'm rambling on and making no sense, but I, I had to post that video and don't pay attention to this mess. I clean the school at night so no one sees me. So I just threw my hair back and came from the barn went, came from the barn and went straight to work so I'm grubby but 
All right, guys. Well, I hope if you guys, if you guys are having anxiety about all this stuff, just just talk to God. He calms me down, and that's a lot. Because <laughs> I start to freak out, and then I just I talk to God and say a prayer, and my nerves come back down. All right. God bless y'all. Good night.